Hey, low terrarium enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to episode 2 of the Tremor mod. Now in yesterday's episode, and I didn't know this would be a thing, but it made me like, it made me really laugh. I called this yesterday a dodge mask, right? And that's because where I come from, dodge is like slang for like a dog. Like, it's like you call him like, oh, it's a dodge. And it's pronounced like dodge. It's like our slang of like my area of England. Like everyone else. Um, doge, dodge, dosh, whatever the... Honestly, it really didn't matter. But it was literally filled the comment section yesterday. It made me really laugh. I like that everyone's so passionate and stuff. Fair enough. Uh, but I'm not wearing it anymore because screw that. Right, today we're going to be carrying on. Uh, yesterday we fought the Eye of Cthulhu and I only did that as like a set piece just for a little bit of fun. Today I actually want to do something a little bit different. I want to go to the granite biome. And go check out some of the baddies in the granite biome because the granite biome has its own exclusive armor in this mod uh crafted from like i believe it's life stones and something else i can't remember what it is life stones and granite blocks smooth granite blocks so it doesn't seem like it would be too hard but if you look in the map we haven't actually found the granite biome yet so we're gonna go and check it out essentially we're gonna go see what we can find i haven't crafted a grapple hook yet which is probably an issue uh, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's just like one of these things. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go find it. We're going to go see what we can craft. I have found one new crafting recipe, and that's with Icebox. You can make frost burn armor. And essentially what it does is this protects you from the frozen debuff. That's all it really does. It's like a like some kind of low-level armor. Obviously, it's only crafted from ice blocks. So I guess, uh, I guess it's a little bit nerfed right now. But that's okay. I'm going to do this. I like doing this. I like always having a torch here, just so I can quickly flick between. Because I don't want to place torches, because I haven't got that many left. I might have to grab that one and that one while I'm here. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool little crafting recipe. Didn't feel like it was worth taking the time to craft, though. So I didn't. I just went with it. Alright, okay. So I'm going to do some um, mining right now. I may actually speed this up for you guys at home. So I'm going to do a little bit of mining. I'm going to see what I can find. Like I said, we're looking for a granite biome. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. They are pretty common. Well, that didn't go to plan now, did it? <laughs> wow, that was a waste of a montage. Ah, well. At least the Medusa died. Bloody hate those things. Alright, I'm going to go back to that point and we'll see what we find. Alright, so I've encountered my first glitch, which I'm very proud of. So I killed a black skeleton, which is new to the mod. And uh, it dropped a bomb and then, bam, uh, this little thing happened. So, nice little floating bomb there for any kind of a uh, person that walks past unexpected. Maybe they'll be killed by it, but probably not. Uh, quite not bad on the glitch scale. So far this mod is held up pretty well. Uh, only suffering, the only thing that it suffers from is reduced frame rate in some areas. But this mod is honestly keeping up pretty well with just the standard Terraria game, which I really, really like. Alright, we're back here again, so we're going to check this out. Ooh, I'm out of torches though, so I'm going to have to grab that one. Right, let's have a little look around this area. So we've got marble there. I could probably be on this track, couldn't I, really? Alright, are you going to take us through a granite biome? Yeah, there we go. I knew you would. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be our little base of operations for a while. I'm going to mine granite, and I'm going to kill granite elementals. I'll probably be here for a little while, but what I'll do is I'll jump ahead, and uh, I'll show you what I find if I find anything of interest. Um, and if not, we'll see what else there is in the world, because there are lots of new things in this mod, so, so it's all about going to the right places to find them. Okay, so I found one of the... Oh, uh, I found a Medusa first. But I found one of the notorious Stones of Life. I had to kill a few granite elementals for it. They also dropped from Hoplites, which is why I'm back in the... Uh, oh, right, okay, got away, get away before she does that thing. Right, okay, get into the lava. There we go. Are you dead? Should be by now. There we go. Right, okay. Yeah, also drops from Hoplites, which is why I'm in the Marble Biome. Because it does the exact same thing that it does in the uh, Granite Biome. Basically, if you mine the Marble and you combine it with the Stones of Life, it makes, like, 
it makes a piece of armor. So, uh, interesting find. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, so I may go back and check the crafting recipe. I just don't find to be, uh, like, I don't seem to be finding many at all, so I don't know about that one. Because if it requires, like, 20 or something, there's no point waiting around for it. It's going to be a while, but I've kind of scoped out this area and I mined some granite. Eh, it doesn't seem like I'm making out just yet, but we'll have to see. I say we go back to the house right now. Get a recall potion. We will smooth our granite out. Right, smooth granite block. Okay, smooth that granite. And then, let's see, can I craft any armor? Alright, so it only takes one piece. So you only need three pieces in total. So what to do, right? Which one should we craft? We'll craft the... We'll craft a chest piece for now, so we know that we need to go and... Oh, this one's pretty good. Stone, so it increases melee damage. That's not bad at all, is it? Okay, well, I'll, grab, I'll grab one piece of that, I'll grab two pieces of that. I might grab some more stone and finish up these sets. I think that'd be pretty good. Alright, let me get a mannequin as well. If I've got enough wood for it. I don't know if I do. Oh, I only have 11. Right, because I want to make some uh, little mannequins for all these armors that we're getting. And hopefully that doesn't craft, uh, like crash the game. I remember, like, back in the day that mods that had armor, if you place them on a, um, well, if you place them on the mannequins, it would actually crash the game, so hopefully they fix that bug. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go get some more stones of life, I'm going to go get some more stone as well, and we'll see which one we're going to use, because I'm not too sure yet, they all seem pretty damn good. Alright, so I found another stone of life, so I thought I'd bring you guys along for the adventure of getting the last one. I want to do that because I didn't want to cut too much out, I want you guys to see... Oh, I did already get one of these. I forgot to mention that. It's a Heart of Atiz. Uh, I don't know. Um, and it gives a life regeneration. I've already got one. I've already got it equipped for right here. Nice. And uh, yeah, I thought it'd be better than the one defense that we got from the shield. So I just kept it on. Now, I do know that these things only drop from granite elementals. So I'm just going to stick with killing them. Uh, but I will kill this golem just to get him out of the way. Right, I think I have enough granite block as well. I've got 244, and I believe it was 125 to make the next one, or to make the, the whole set or something. It was something along them lines, so I think it should be good. I'm going to go this way because I'm going to see if there's any hot lights around. If there are any hot lights, we can give them a kill. Let's see if we can get another stone of life. That would be good. Right. Okay, any hot lights, or is it just going to be a Medusa? Yep. Always a Medusa. Bloody hate them. I keep telling people that I need to make a mod that removes Medusa from the game. I would happily have it installed. <laughs> it's all I want to do. <laughs> God, because they annoy me so much. They really, really annoy me. Man, if someone's going to make a hardcore Terraria mod, though, they should make it where uh, Medusas are invisible. And you should have to, like, have to move your mouse around the screen to try and find them. That would be a that'd be a horrible challenge. That would be a very horrible challenge. Right. Okay. We just need one more stone of life. Come on. We can do this. All right. I'm hoping I'm hoping that when I re-enter the biome, it'll spawn some more granite elementals. Are we gonna get that? Are there any at the bottom? Nope. Wow. Ah, well. <laughs> when you want an enemy to spawn on this game, it's exactly when it doesn't spawn. Like when you're farming for something. That's exactly when you're not going to find anything that you want. I absolutely hate that about Terraria. Alright. We just need a little bit more. Uh, we, didn't need, well, we just need a little bit more. We just need... I think we have enough granite. But I have a feeling that it might be 300 blocks because... I don't know though. I don't know. Let's kill this one off. Alright, let's not do it over the water. Oh, this is the black skeleton that I killed, by the way. That dropped the bomb. Is it going to go off this time? Nope. I think it's broken again. Ah, there we go. Stone of life. I also got the stone that we needed for the last armor as well. Where are my recalls? There they are. Okay, so let's get crafting this thing. Okay, so I'm going to need some smooth granite. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I didn't know that it, it needed one block. I thought it was two blocks, so I crafted a little bit too much. Right, so we have the chest piece. We need the legs and we need the helmet. Okay, so we currently have 9 defense, and we have a set bonus of 15% increased movement speed. Let's swap over to this one. What do we get? We've got 13 defense, and an increased maximum damage by, or maximum defense of 3. So is this one really worth it? You're getting more defense here, you move a lot slower. Like, it feels like, because I didn't know it had that movement speed, I've gotten used to that speed, so this feels really slow. Alright, okay, let's finish up the stone one as well. So let's go into here and finish up the stone one. 
Um, where is it? Okay, we just need a stone chest piece. Right, okay, so let's swap over this. This gives us 13 defense and our damage has gone up by what? Maximum defense of two and then this has got melee damage increase. So let's swap over again. Has that got melee damage increase too? No, so it seems like this one is like the worst one. It gives us 13 defense and obviously this superior artery does 19. We swap over to the stone. It's doing 21 and 12 defense. It does not make any sense. I feel like they need to fix that one. <laughs> yeah, but I think we're going to stick with this one then. So let's see what dye we can put on it to make it look cool. Let's try reflective copper. How's that looking? Yeah, it looks like we've just got really crappy armor on now. I like it. Can I have the doge mask. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have it like that. <laughs> All right, okay, looking cool, looking cool. All right, let's get rid of that. Yeah, I like I like this look. I like this look. I look like a like a copper dodge. Whatever you want to call it. Right, so let's try and place the armor on these mannequins. Now, I'm going to stop recording and try it and then see what it looks like afterwards because I don't want this recording to crash. Like I said, when I used to delve into mods a lot, it always used to crash on the mannequins for some reason. So I'm going to give it a try now. Hey, totally worked. Totally worked. Can't fault the guys that made this. Awesome. Right, so we need to find something new to do. I'm going to have a little look on the forum to see what piece of accessories and armor we should go for next. I want to find everything naturally, but the problem is, because it's so scattered around, I just don't know what it's going to be. We also need to build another house as well to get a few more NPCs. Actually, do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a few more houses to get some NPCs, and I'm going to jump ahead and we'll see if we can get some brand new NPCs, because I know this mod has them. So I went to exploring the world while I waited for my NPCs to arrive, and I found this living wood tree. Unfortunately, it's one of them ones that don't have any kind of like chest room underneath. So that means that this world doesn't have a living loom, which is kind of sad because it means we're not going to be checking out the summoner's armor. However, since we won't have a summoner's weapon for quite a while anyway, because I think the, like, the first one we'd get is from Queen Bee, right? So, uh, yeah, we don't really have one of them. So, ah, well, I'd wake up that angler, by the way, but I'm looking to, uh, I'm looking to get some, uh, a, some new NPCs, so I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, come on, jellyfish, where are you at? Ooh, what's after me? What's after me? I can't even tell what's after me. <laughs> Alright, no chance of getting anything from here unless we get some goddamn glow sticks. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get any coral either. Just yet. It's been a nice little trek around the world though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a damn shame that we don't have the living wood loom. But we can find something else to do instead of using the living wood stuff. Kind of a shame though. I did find these two items while I was there. I killed an orc and got the orc-ish shield. And I killed something else and got a broken Invar shield. So I'm going to go back to the house and see what they do. I know that the Orcish shield can actually be equipped right now. It's like a shield for two defense. But I don't know what this uh, broken Invar shield does. So we're going to go check out what the guide says about it. Oh, that's how I got one. I got one just like that. We've got a melted Invar sword. Oh, and we've got an old Ivar plate. Material. It's old. Right, where's this sword that we just got? Melted Ivar sold. All right, okay, so all of them are It's probably this is probably one thing then like one set of uh, items I'm not too sure how you get the rest of them. I may stick around this area and try and kill a few more, but It's nighttime and I imagine they only spawn at nighttime and it's slowly But surely not becoming night. So I might just kill a few more see what I find um, And I'll let you guys know when we get back to the house and I'm highlighting today's episode I'm doing it more in jump cut style just because there's a lot I want to show and I don't want it to be like yesterday's episode where there was a little bit too much hang time between items. I want to just kind of give you guys what this mod is all about. And then maybe after that we can have some fun, like, experimenting with all the stuff. That's how I want to do this series. So I'm going to carry on finding new stuff and I'll let you guys know what they are. Okay, we're back at the house, so let's see what these crafting stuff do. Alright, okay, we need the melted sword. So the melted sword turns into Ivar bars. It also turns into Ivar bars. They turn into Ivar bars. All right, I thought it was going to be like one system of stuff. All right, let's try and melt these into Ivar bars. <laughs> it was weird how it did that. Right, so this is a whole new crafting stuff. So you get 6% melee damage there. Let's just have a quick look on here. So you got Ivar axe, Ivar bow, which does 9 range damage compared to our 7 range damage there. So it's between like, is it better than gold? I don't think it's better than gold, is it? 
Huh. But it gives you different tiers here because you've got the either hat, the headgear, and the helmet. So it's like a three tier armor system. And you can then choose. I'll tell you what, you can make something out of charcoal. I can't remember what it is. Let's go ask the guide what you can make out of charcoal. Sir, what do you make out of charcoal? You can make steel bars using lead and charcoal. And you make a blast furnace used to craft alloys. So you need one lava bucket, some charcoal, and some grey brick. Right, so you can make it out of iron and lead. I do believe I have some iron and lead. So we're going to go on to bars. Alright, I've got tin. Or oh, I've got iron there. So let's see what these do. If we craft some lead. Where do you craft it at? Um, do you have to make it in a blast furnace? Let's have a little look. Let's open up the charcoal again. Do you make it in a blast? Yeah, you need to make it in a blast furnace. So we need to get one bucket of lava and some grey brick and some more charcoal. I think that can be done. So I'm going to go do that because that'd be, that'd be something new that we can try out. Uh, but before I go, I'm going to take some mining potions. Because I'm going to go chop down some trees and I believe it does actually help with uh, swinging speed. I need to chop down some trees and what else do I need? I need to leave with a bucket. So let's craft a bucket. Right, okay. So we got a merchant. We got Seymour the merchant. Seymour, what do you sell? Nothing new, okay. That's understandable. Alright, so I'm going to cut back in with some more charcoal and a blast furnace, hopefully. Okay, so I went to another world, got some wood. I also got some stone and a lava bucket. So it's time for us to craft the blast furnace. I also added two more rooms to the house because we got the... We basically got the NPCs I didn't want. We got a merchant and a nurse. Right, so how do we start this thing? I think we can just start by crafting the blast furnace, right? Uh, it may take me a little while to see it. Just want to make sure. Lava bucket. Uh... Charcoal. Let me just check there isn't a last crafting recipe for it. So it is. Oh, and you need the grey brick. Right, I didn't make the grey brick. So let's make the grey brick. Uh, whereabouts is that? It should be over here somewhere. There we go. I need 25 pieces of it. Right, okay. And then we can make the blast furnace. Boom, baby. Blast furnace. Looking huge, man. Looks massive. Damn. Alright, we'll just put it in here. Alright, so now I can make the lead or the steel bars. Uh, if I get some more charcoal, can I make any more? No, I can just make... Oh. Right, okay. Alright, so let's see what we can make with the steel bars then. Alright, crafting. Uh, steel bars. Okay, you can make a steel pickaxe. You can make a steel helmet, which kind of looks like Shovel Knight. I like that. Alright, because... Melee critical strike chance. So it's kind of just another. Oh, this looks cool. You need phantom souls for it though. And this gives increased life regen. That just looks awesome. You can also make a bloody bow. I imagine these are hard mode, these. Afterlife. So what are they? School teeth. Jesus. Right, they're Mithril Anvil, they're Anvil. So I imagine that they're hard mode. So the afterlife armor. And then this is like normal mode, which we're in now. Wow, we could actually make that if we had the phantom teeth. I don't know where to find them, though. We'll have to go and find them somewhere. All right, okay, that's pretty awesome. Gives us a reason to mine. All right, and we just got a brand new NPC. This is Richard, the archer. I'd like to get my hands on some gob on a goblin tech bow. Those things can shoot multiple arrows. All right, so you have the archer glove, which gives increased range damage. We'll buy one of them. The crossbow, which is 11 range damage. We'll buy one of them. A quiver, 20% chance not to consume ammo. We'll buy one of them. And he sells Jester Arrows. Nice. I've always wanted something that sells Jester Arrows. Always. Love Jester Arrows. Right, so let's um, let's equip all of this and see how it looks. Right, okay. We can put that there. We can put this there. Um, and let's go get our plant fiber armor. Right, because we swap these over. Like that. And then, let's put these on. Was there anything else that we bought from him? No. Ah, oh, nice. What's that doing? That's 15% range damage. We've got 8 defense and we've got like some really powerful bows. Wow, that's actually really badass, isn't it? Jesus. Man, the NPCs come in handy really fast. Man, they go so far. I bet we could properly take down a boss right now. Alright, I'm going to get some stuff ready. We're going to go take down a boss with this thing. Um, I'll have to find which boss we're going to do, but this is, this is a really powerful setup. Okay, so we're here. I feel like we're going to take down this boss today. We're going to take down Skeletron. 
because uh, it seems easiest to set up right now. So, let's give this one a go. Uh, we'll see how we do. Right, puff up. Okay. Right, we're going to go for its hands and its helmet. Right, got to make sure we dodge a little bit at least, because we can't... Although I feel tanky right now, I know that we can't tank this. So I have to be careful, because we do still have low health. We only have 120. But then again, we've seen Euromir take this thing down with no problem on the first night. I mean, if I lose this one, I really am bad. <laughs> well, I'm just not good at Skeletron either way, to be fair. Skeletron's one of my worst ones I'm bad at. It's because I've never been able to uh, fully memorize his uh, attack pattern. I'm usually pretty bad at this one. I'm bad at most bosses, to be fair. There are only a few that I can ever be good at. I feel like I'm usually really good at the twins. Although I make out that I'm not, I'm usually pretty good at the twins, and I'm usually pretty good at Wall of Flesh when I want to be. Then again, not always. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Alright, interesting. Getting interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's get this undead warrior out of the way. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, Jesus. Take down this hand, too. You look. Right, we're just gonna take down both hands. This makes sense right now. Oh no 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 acting like an idiot. Acting like an idiot. Thinking I can tank it. Thinking I can tank it. Not realizing. Not about to tank this fight. Okay, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. I think I think this is gonna be a good way to finish up today's episode. A nice little boss fight. Two episodes in a row when you think about it. Whoa, no, I'm being an idiot. I'm being such an idiot. All right, okay. Need to be careful. I'm just not doing enough damage on him. Right, he's going to do his spinning attack in a minute. There we go. All right, come on. I should have kept that. I should have kept the life regen thing on. That would have probably been handy right now. There we go. Nice one. Alright, that's going to do it for today's episode. Make sure to check back tomorrow for the next episode of the Tremor mod. What are you guys thinking about this series so far? Personally, I think this mod is brilliant. Have you checked it out yourself yet? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. Have you checked it out yet? Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.